G'day, Adrian here from Onsite Helper. This video is a quick guide on how to back up your PC's data off-site to Google Drive. First, start off by downloading the backup and sync tool in Google. So simply copy and paste that URL or we'll just do a Google search for backup and sync. Uh, agree to the terms, wait for it to download. Um, once it's done, open the uh, exe in the bottom left-hand corner here. So this will uh, install the, the application on your computer. Uh, interesting enough, um, if you previously had Google Drive Sync installed, uh, this app will automatically replace that with the new sync tool. So it's a nice clean backup uh, process. So we'll just follow the prompts uh, to get started. Sign in with your Google account. So this basically will tell us which folders on our PC we want to back up to Google Drive. So by default, it'll select your desktop documents and pictures folder. You may also want to uh, browse your computer for any other important folders. Um, let's say if you've got uh, Myable or something like that, um, you'd select that particular folder. Um, yeah. So. I'll just leave these ones ticked. Uh, here you can also choose what type of quality you want the um, photos and videos. I'd recommend select the first option. Um, it gives you unlimited storage, which is great. And it keeps it at a very high quality, which is 16 megapixels, up to 16 megapixels for photos. So if your photo is over 16 megapixel, it'll probably be reduced down to 16. And videos will be, it, videos up to 1080p. Uh, so again, if your video is over 1080p, it'll probably get shrunk down to 1080p, but both of those are still very good quality, especially for personal use. One other thing you might want to adjust is the um, bandwidth. So if you click on network settings, um, if you're on a slower internet connection like ADSL2, you might want to limit the upload speed to maybe half the bandwidth, which is around 50 kilobits per second. Download, you might as well leave it to, to unlimited. But again, if, it, if it's quite a slow internet, you might want to limit that to a few megabits or a few thousand kilobits per second just so uh, you have a good internet experience while it's backing up. So we'll just go next. So now this is a Google Drive sync um, aspect where it's going to sync data between Google Drive and your local computer just as the previous Google Drive sync tool did. So here we're going to select which files in the Google Cloud are going to be downloaded to this machine and then kept in sync for any changes. This isn't a backup as such. That was the first part. This is the ongoing syncing of Google Drive data. So you can choose to sync everything or you might just choose selected folders. Um, and here by default, it's obviously choosing uh, where the Google Drive sync directory will be installed on the computer. And again, you can change that as well. Uh, so we'll just start that process. So it's detected that because I was running Google Drive previously, there's some data in, my, in that local Google Drive folder, which it's asking, do you want to merge this data to, to go into the new folder? And I'll just continue with that. So here it's opened up the local folder. Um, and it's telling me 12 items, new items will, will merge into this Google Drive sync. So I'll just continue with that. Um, and you can see some stuff's coming coming through. Uh, also a little message just telling you that it's in the, the taskbar here. So if I was to click on this bottom right hand corner, it says uh, syncing seven of 12. You can go into a bit of detail here just to show the status. So once that's done or in the process, uh, you can then browse in your Google Drive, obviously open up Google Chrome browser, log into Google Drive, and you can see these folders are, are, are syncing in Google Drive. But here is the interesting part. This is a new uh, tab for your computers which are being backed up. So here, um, yeah, I can see these, these folders on my local machine. Uh, the data will start coming uh, into here shortly. And um, yeah, that's that's basically how it works. Um, 
couple of things to sort of make mention of. Um, so once the data does go in here, you can actually choose to, uh, you know, share this with other people if you wanted to. So if, let's say I just wanted to share this particular folder. Um, I could drag it into my drive. Um, you probably don't have to worry about that message because uh, it's, it's it's a Google Drive sync um, or, or Google Drive backup, not really sync. So even if you move things out of here, uh, it'll still back up and, and come in back into the Google Drive folder where it was originated from. Um, but that, that, that does then give you the option to say anything that was on my computer, I want to then share it with other people. So then obviously choose your sharing permissions and choose who you want to share it with externally if, if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's a quick snapshot of how it all works. Uh, a couple of other things to be careful of that. Um, you know, if you're using this on a laptop um, and you're on mobile broadband, let's say 4G internet, just be aware of it might use up your access, your, your data very quickly. So you might want to turn the Google Drive sync backup and sync tool off when you're, when you're on your mobile broadband. Um, also, this is only a file um, backup system. It won't do an image of your, your computer. So you might want to look at um, other imaging tools such as uh, Cloudberry, which will take a full image back of, of your computer with all your settings and programs installed, uh, which is better for disaster recovery. And also just be aware of your your space. So you, you might not want to select all the data on your computer to back up to Google Drive because uh, you know, you've know you either got for free Google Drive's 15 uh, gigabytes or, or, or G Suite's 30 gig, but obviously you can increase that storage and pay for more. So just be careful of how much data you're backing up to Google Drive as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and hope it's been beneficial. Um, feel free to leave any comments on my YouTube page and I uh, hope to hear from you. Thank you.